Hello, 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 hello. You think I'm standing on Strand Beach? No, I'm not. I'm on Santos Beach here in Mossel Bay. Welcome to Mossel Bay. It's incredible this beach that it's the only north-facing beach in southern Africa. That is wild. Can't believe that it's north-facing. And something else that I found very interesting is that this beach is where Bartomeu Diaz landed on the 3rd of February 1488 on this beach. Crazy. Let's take a walk up and down. Let me show you. This is gorgeous. The weather's beautiful. Well, we left Strand this morning very early, just after 6, and it was misty all the way till about 80 kilometers outside of Mossel Bay. Then mist disappeared, and we got this beautiful weather. They knew we were coming here, so they opened up for us. <laughs> This beach apparently is so sheltered that it hardly ever has wind and in summertime the um, water is nice and warm. You can see the people are swimming. No worries. This is such a beautiful beach. What a wonderful start to our trip. <laughs> it's fantastic. Santos Beach. How beautiful. Crazy. Did you know that it was renamed Madiba Beach? But no, I didn't. The name, the name Santos Beach stuck. <laughs> It'll always be Santos I Beach. Always, I think so, yeah.
I'm very excited to see the few things that um, we've chosen to check out in Mossel Bay. Yeah, Mossel Bay is a big place, so we're not going to be able to cover everything. But I am excited to see the few things because this place has got major history. Check at this. And this is the original station, I think, of Mossel Bay. It's a restaurant now. Santos Express Train Lodge. But look at this. Mossel Bay. And on this side, Mossel Bay. Fantastic, eh? What's amazing, I think, that these train coaches are here and people sleep in them. It's accommodation, that's fantastic. How wild is that? Santos Express Train Lodge. I didn't know they could sleep in those coaches. Yeah, that's super cool. Very. But not as cool as the original station name sign. <laughs> so they're busy with um, renovations and they're working here around by the museum and the post office tree. But I just want to go and check out this post office tree it's incredible So it's a national monument. Now this is, look, this is the tree that they selected. So this is really interesting. In 1501, one of the captains left a message in a boot tied to the tree. And then someone on an outbound ship picked it up and took it with him. So the first post office in South Africa. I think this tree is over 500 years old. Crazy, I love this. So to think they used to walk up here and drop off the mail under that tree. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, yes, his statue. Dia's statue. Now, this is the entrance of the museum. Diaz Museum.
This is an exact replica of the caravel ship that Diaz used to come in with. Can you? I thought it would be much bigger. They were brave, those guys, tell you, to go into the open seas with a boat this size. <laughs> Wow. Look, that's where they used to sleep. I'm not allowed past this point, but that's incredible. These guys were brave, let me tell you. Whoa! And can you believe this is how they used to steer the boat with this thing? What? How cool is this? And this is so solid. It feels like I'm walking on concrete. Blown away. Sleeping quarters below the deck. <laughs> Yay. This is crazy interesting. Kitchen? Well, I call it the kitchen, I must probably call it the galley. back then a eh? toilet basin now oh, this must have been the pantry Oh. 
It's a bit modernized, I think. I suppose this is where they store their luggage. <laughs> or what luggage they had, eh? This is our way out. Be honest, this is fascinating. Giant clam. Oh, How's the dollars? It's in the shape of a tetrapod. <laughs> That's what we read on the internet. <laughs> and you're very proud of the fact that a South African designed it. A South African engineer from East London. I love it. Oh, look how many there are. Yeah. So this is the Mossel Bay Harbour. This. few restaurants here. Yeah. And it's so nice and quiet. Yeah, it is, eh? Well, there's quite a few other restaurants down there. Yes. Oh, look at that. That looks quite nice. Yeah. Kai Broi. Oh, that really looks nice. And it's a different view of Santos Beach. Yes. Those houses on the hill there must uh, have fantastic views, eh? <laughs> I can imagine, eh? So these are all the activities. Boat cruises. Yeah. Look at this old bus, babe. So cool. Fish and Chip Company. The London bus. Fishing charters. Imagine how this place buzzes. Yeah, I can. Over December. If you go straight ahead, can we just look at that one boat? Seeing that we can't get. We can in. go in here. Oh, here. Yeah. Muscle Bay Deep Sea Adventures. Oh, here are the flags we saw from that side. Yes. That's so cool. Just the perfect amount of wind for them yeah. to fly beautifully. Oh, 
is a cool spot. Yeah, very nice. I think it can get pretty busy over here. See, it's, oh, I have no doubt. Welcome to the slipway. Nice. Skipper Foundation. All right. Train tracks. Yeah. Quite big, eh? It is pretty big. Look at this beautiful old church. It is incredible. It is gorgeous. Wow. I'm gonna have to go around the block and see. So I finally got in here. It was built on the 13th of October 1945. Okay, so I can't go in. There's a funeral on at the moment, so... Oh, this is gorgeous. Nineteen O one Prince Vincent's Company General Merchants. Wow, how gorgeous! Beautiful. See, it's an old town. Right? Yeah. Well, if you take that Diaz arrived here in 1488. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It puts a whole new spin on things. It does. <laughs> For sure. How's this caravan park? The view from the top, yeah. Established 1864. Capes and Blaze Lighthouse. How oh, nice is it from up here? Yeah. The 
sign over there says that this lighthouse was established in 1864. Yeah, yeah I read it was first lit in 1864. Yeah. How incredible. Wild. It's quite nice to see this nature yeah. in such a big town. Love it from up here. Beautiful. This is the view from the lighthouse. Look at this view. Climbing a lot of stairs today, or ladders, put it that way. Here we go. Another level up. Now, I was told I must not touch the light because it affects the parameters. So I won't touch it. Crazy. Look at this. Not much space in here. Wow. So this is the lighthouse. It's a functional lighthouse. And they say its parameters are set so that it shines out 45 kilometers into the ocean. Wild. She said I can go out through this little door. So that I'm gonna do. Uh, Oopsie daisy. Check this out. I'll be crazy. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, time to leave. 
There's a small little hole to crawl through. You never thought you'd get this view of the caravan park, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't think I'd be able to go up the lighthouse. <laughs> this is an, a ginormous caravan. Oh, I know, it's amazing. And it's full, I mean, lots and lots of people. Yeah. It's massive. this view a lot. Sure. Lots to see. Very neat and organized place this. I think it's beautiful. I'm actually so surprised. I've come to Mossel Bay so many times but you don't take in how pretty it is. No. I've never been in this part of Mossel no. Bay. Oh what is this? It's the primary school. <gasps> Milkwood Primary School. Here it says, so it was the Point High School at one point. Yes. 1909. <gasps> How beautiful is this, eh? And look at the condition. You must see their sports fields from the top there. Absolutely astonishing. I saw green. That's the sports field. Huge though. Massive. Yeah, we're coming to it. Oh, this is, looks like a cemetery. Oh, this is the cemetery. Look at that. Okay. Too Almost. many things we love. <laughs> A <laughs> bookmark that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. These are the tennis courts uh, behind this wall, this blue wall. Okay. I saw uh, this people from up there. Yeah, here they are. They have break. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is so cool. <laughs> he has this caravan park, but it's back there. Point That's Caravan Resort. They do have... It's big though, eh? It is huge. I'm surprised it's not holiday season and it looks like this. That's crazy. But some places are decorated even. I wonder if there's not some permanent residents here. Because it looks like they they are settled there. I was just thinking that same thing. And this is the Pat Pat course? Yes, I saw this from up top okay, too. Nice. I was scoping out the area. <laughs> So this is the point. It looks like it, yes. Wow. This is a holiday town. Big town. Through and through. That's got a lot of industry here too though. Um, this is the First World War. Our gallant dead. Sorry, I have to go and look. I heard it calling your name. <laughs> the 
This is fantastic. Look how beautiful they made this. Originally for the people that passed away in the First World War, 1914 to 1918. But then the guys who passed away in 1939 to 1945 with the Second World War, their names have been put on there too. So they built this monument on rocks. You see that? Oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. Very. Good use of the rocks. We said we'd come back to the cemetery. It's big, eh? Massive. Plover's not happy with me. Must have eggs or a baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> First wanna check the plover is Attacking me. Yeah, somewhere here. Yeah. Eighteen eighty two. Twelfth of October and passed away on the thirtieth of October, eighteen eighty two. Wow. Born eighteen forty nine, passed away eighteen eighty four. These are old graves. Eighteen seventy eight, nineteen thirty seven. I can't see anything. There's a bird of writing, I can't make it out. Eighteen seventy eight, nineteen fourteen. This is the Jewish cemetery. Eighteen eighty two, nineteen thirty four. 1880, 1956. 1874, 1923. Accidentally drowned off Seal Island on the 29th of September 1901, age 21. Wow. Yeah, there's just too many graves here. It's like a massive cemetery. But it's an old cemetery. Oh, look at this tiny little cross. This little 
so small if you look at my hand on this cross oh. 1902 now this must have something to do with um, Portnet here yeah, with the harbour this old building but it's currently being used as the flea market I saw a sign on the other side that said it's a is or was a good stepper oh okay that makes sense oh, I definitely got that railway transnet type of vibe it's a pretty building eh? yeah fantastic building I love it look at this one Yeah, um, you know this is this is why we choose the smaller towns. These big ones are incredibly overwhelming, and this one I think more than any others I've been in. I think it must be one of the stone building capitals of South Africa. I'm telling you, I haven't seen so many stone buildings in one spot like I have over here. But I mean, the town was established proper in 1848. Yes. So. That's almost 200 years worth of history. Oh, it's crazy. It's but crazy. it's a fantastic place for those who enjoy spending a week in a place. This is your place. So much to see. The highlight for me was going up the lighthouse. I've never been into a lighthouse before. That, that was for me. That was pretty cool. And uh, when you told me that Santos Beach is the only true north facing beach, uh, in South Africa, I was surprised by that. Yeah, that was, that's interesting. But I enjoyed Mossel Bay. It's a beautiful place. Definitely not the last time we come in, yeah. Agreed.